What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking briefly about uh, stabilizing a tent trailer. So the first time I took this thing out with my kids, I slept on the big part. My four-year-old slept on this one. My six-year-old slept over there. She woke up in the middle of the night vomiting uh, because motion sickness, what I can, from what I can tell. So here's a couple things that I did. Well, here's the basic stuff plus one extra thing that I did and hopefully there's some good numbers for you and some good ideas. So check it out. So this is just where you see how I did the turn and I did the same thing every time and I did go back on each one but you just don't see that here. So this is an app that I just downloaded onto my Android phone. It seemed to be pretty accurate. Um, you can kind of see that bottom area is how much uh, movement there was and I put it towards the outside or end of the king size bed portion um, so you can kind of use that as your as your guide and I try to keep things pretty much the same every time so you can tell here with nothing on there just the basic bed supports uh, it's almost out of four um, so when I turned over and back um, this is the movement that it elicited um, the whole thing felt very rickety when I did that. So rolling over and back, got this movement. So then I added the tire locks and then the support on this side. And it decreased, well, on the chart it actually increased a little bit. It's about the same, maybe some artifact, because I felt a little bit more comfortable actually moving. So pretty similar to add the, the tire supports as far as the movement. So the next step was that I added the corner supports and that helped quite a bit you can see it went down to just over two and a half had a weird spike there um some random error i guess but two and a half um and then i added these specialized i'll talk more about that later ones on the ends um and just under two just over two um but definitely low overall um, and that's i was really trying to move my body a whole lot to make sure that I got good results. Um, anyways, so these guys are cool. Um, I saw this kind of on a video, um, something similar, but it goes under there's two by four up top and then some metal um, attachments. You don't have to have the metal attachments. That's not necessary. The main reason why I did the metal attachments was so that I could adjust it for height, depending on if I was on an unlevel surface. But really, you don't need that. You can just widen it or narrow it. And that can be your adjustment. So you can just even attach boards up there. But I did have that, those metal um, attachment pieces there um, for adjustment or whatever. I painted them black, put some reflectors on it, and it uh, turned out pretty good. So, I mean, with those on, it still has a little bit of shakiness, but not too bad. It's definitely doable.